Hello everybody, that is here, very happy to see all of you on the other side of the screen. Today video about new dark side computer modding UV lights, which they release three new models for that particular type of light, Pro, Special Edition and Die Hard Edition. And I'd like to talk about what's the difference between those three. They're similar, but there's a few adjustments that you'd like to consider. And also brush would like to brush your knowledge on UV reaction in general for best practice and things like this. So we have a little bit more useful video just just talk about products itself. So the model revision 4 was on the market for a while, probably four or five years. A lot of cool guys embrace it. Below from MMC Tech, Daniel Singularity Computers, they all love it, which is really cool. And also it was available widely in Europe. High Flow has it, MyHem has it and uh, as well as the uh, US and Canada performance PC, mod my mods, does mod and so on. So, what's the reason for new model? Basically in a nutshell, availability of better performing UV chips. This model was, as I said, on the market for some time, but it became a little bit outdated for the microchip used and the new model finally is out. The reason why it took a little bit time to produce new UV light with a more modern and better chips is the fact that unlike regular microchips, red or orange, like name it, single color, they widely used in automobile, aerospace and just uh, in general in industry applications and they produce in large numbers and they can be taken almost off the shelf and produce the light. But UV is very specific applications. It's only done for specific purposes, you know, like currency checking or curing of uh, UV materials, things like this. So this is always a special production. You need to specify, specify which UV lengths you want. And then obviously you get hit with the minimum order quantity, which for certain situation can be a little bit hard. You don't want to get supply of UV chips like for 10 years ahead of the time. So, and also the price is, was a little bit prohibitive in the beginning. But after a few years, things stabilized a little bit, minimum order quantity reduced, and also pricing became more affordable. For that reason, the special batch of new UV microchips was produced by Darkside, and now it will be used in multiple productions of those UV lights. Probably will last a couple of years for sure. So what we have here, the difference between old model and new model is obviously the microchip and the main characteristics that you should care about is the first is the light output and second the how wide the light beam. Light output is pretty much self-explanatory. The more radiation you emit, the more UV reaction you get from the UV reactive material. But the beam of light is actually not so obvious, but it's just as important as anything else. So the new model was 90 degrees. So you have a 90 degree beam of light, which basically is shine inside of your case and highlight anything that this will be shined directly at. With a new type of the chip, not only you have a larger emitting surface of the chip itself, which produce more radiation, but also the angle on which light is emitting is became 120 degrees. So more area coverage for the shorter distance, because obviously the further away you go, the <laughs> wider your beam of light is, but the radiation is reducing as a power two of distance. So the closer you get, the better it is, right? So there's uh, two things. You, you want bigger coverage, but also you want to be as close to the object as possible. So with 120, obviously it's a big deal because you can get closer to have a higher reaction. At the same time you cover bigger area. So that is very critical, crucial thing that is happening with new lights. And uh, that's basically makes the main difference why it's working better for applications such as a computer modding because you you in a small confinement of the case so the distance is not that great so the larger angle will cover more light because as you probably know the uv reaction only works when the light hits directly the object so there are no like, real reactivity from uv lights on ambient 
uh, light. So you can see, so we shine away and then we shine on it, it it's, it's glows, but as soon as we're turning, then it stops glowing. So that's important to have a direct line of sight for any UV reactive object inside of UK for the best results. Other than that, the new model still using aerospace and automobile industries inspired PCB made of aluminum. It's important for industries because it's also acting as a heat sink, which is, can be critical for certain applications. It's not as critical for computer modding, but kind of cool looking and uh, it's very thin, unlike standard composite PCB, which is usually about two millimeters. This one is only one millimeter. The drawback from it is the fact that it's actually, if you, you can't bend it as any PCB, but it's easily bendable. So if you bend it, you can break the circuit wires inside of PCB and that will result in a certain section. As you can see, the three lights is out, so the PCB was cracked and those three lights is out. It's fail safe design, so you, it's not all light goes out, but whatever damage section, it will affect three lights at the time. So this one is broken, doesn't work, others still continue going. And for that reason, Darkseid made a new version, Die Hard Edition, and basically it's a bending of aluminum PCB. Uh, it's not this one, it's this one. A bending aluminum PCB circuit board and going with a standard PCB is that like on your motherboard or GPU, which is can take more abuse. So the people who feel that they want to move lights and detach, attach it for multiple builds and they a little bit have a clumsy hands. Die Hard Edition, maybe not as look as cool at first, but it actually can take more abuse. And Pro version, the other model out of three, is basically a direct development of Revision 4, just it's using new lights. So it's also the wavelengths of both Die Hard and Pro editions is very similar to, so you see, this is a Pro and this is Revision 4. So the wavelengths are very similar. So if you already had the older light, that will be working well. It doesn't really make any difference in a dark environment, but ambient glow may be a little bit different and for some people it may be a problem for CD purposes. So that's something that maybe to consider and the closer color it may be something that is desirable for people who are building computers. And the third version, special edition version, using special batch of different wavelength chips. So as I said, that every time you order UV lights, it's not something that you just say, hey, I want those, send me. No, you say, okay, I want those, this model of particular chip, then you say, I want this type of wavelength, and then it's custom produced. So this one is a closer to invisible spectra. For that reason, it looks as not as bright. It also look more kind of whitish, purplish, if you will. It's really hard to show you on the camera because on the camera it does, doesn't show. Even on photographs I tried, it's not so easy. So I don't even bother you to light up and make comparison. But this one is works better for reddish and orangey type of lights because very powerful pro is giving away because it emits so much emits so much visible light it actually has ambient glow which is kind of bluish and it works really well for greenish and uh, bluish type of uh, coolants or sleeving material this one arguably make things glow more natural reddish orange color than a more powerful pro. So for somebody who building red and orange, maybe special edition is a preferred way. Also they, they kind of close. So it's a little bit of nitpicking or CD driven type of activities, but nevertheless, if somebody wants to be perfect, perfect to the next level, there's an option. You go for blue or green type of build, Pro or Die Hard is, is a better choice and SE for reddish and oranges. Now, the last thing that I would like to quickly talk to you about um, that people not quite 
understand there is a difference between UV materials and the power of how they glow. I put those coolants on a table actually to give you some idea from the very bright glow from minimum radiation exposed on UV material to very minimum glow and almost non-existent glow. So such as acid yellow which actually glows green is probably the most bright material that you can ever find. So it just glows like hell and it really pops up and it will be really well visible even in the room which light up with uh, lots, lots of lights. I have like 800 watt bulbs shining on me right now and still if I put my UV light towards green material you still can see the difference. It wouldn't be so for some other colors. So acid yellow would be absolute top of the list. Next one will be green followed by the blue which all three very powerful lights. Then if we want to go towards kind of reddish spectrum pretty good result given from the pink. Pink glows pretty prominent. Not as high as others but close enough. And then things go downhill very quickly. Purple has a subtle glow but it glows fine. Orange same deal. Uh, close to purple. Maybe we can do it like this. So those kind of next level but lower. And finally we end up with a barely glowing red. What's the problem with red? People don't understand it actually and they expect glow like this from the red which will never happen. The fact is there are no UV red pigment. So for that reason if you're building a red build you might be better going instead of UV lights going with a proper dedicated white lights better not RGB and dedicated red lights like warm yellow not yellow warm white will be the best choice here and um, but if you want still night glow you can try but the results will be far away from from such other side of the spectrum what we discussed the problem here is that how uv red is glowing if there are no uv red pigment right so basically what's added to the red uv color is a little bit of purple, a little bit of orange, and a little bit of pink. And those three in together, they somewhat give you kind of reddish type of glow. It's not very good, uh, but it's still there. And uh, that also tells you why a lot of UV red materials, surprisingly, when you put it on, the, it's like look, look red, you put UV light, and all of a sudden it's maybe glow orange some products it's actually pink which is most most common because the pink is closest to the red uh, or sometimes maybe a little bit purplish the reason is that the mixture between those three wasn't done right and they overdo certain color and the color that overdone overpowers the rest that it became more prominent and guys who build computer for a while might remember that almost any UV red material in the past was pretty much pink so, so it was really annoying so people hated and then people start mixing additional components in a better way so it became a little better and most cases it's glowing a little bit purplish but you know close enough to the red but again so if you after UV red glow you might not get what you're expecting but if you're cool about green or blue you have total show that looks absolutely fantastic but i hope you find it useful thank you for watching and we'll shoot another video I'd like to talk a little bit about leon lee case and my personal experience about it thank you and see you soon